Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm stopping in here to... I just want to get my thoughts or reactions to uh, what's been going on in celebrity news this, lately. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of things happening that sometimes you just be like, really? Because celebrities, uh, they don't live by the same standards as us. Like, we broke folks, well... I'm broke, folks. I'm speaking for myself mainly. And the kind of issues they go through seem like it's not a big deal to me. For one, say take the thing with Cardi and uh, Nikki. They are bickering with each other for what really is not important it's not important what they bicker about at the end of the day is he say she say they say we say hey i don't want to play with you you're not my best friend you said this about me just little kitty shit that we did when we were little like i don't know if it's me because i'm older i'm 42 and uh the shit that they bickering about is like it's beyond me you know what i'm saying like my take is, like, get the fuck over it. Get the fuck over yourselves. Get the fuck over it. It's not that important. When you look back on it, when years from now, you're going to look back on it and be like, what the fuck? That shit was stupid as fuck. Because y'all are living y'all best lives. And y'all kind of, like, titty comparing about who doing what, who got what, who whopped the whoop, 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 whoop in a third. Ain't nobody caring about none of that. Ain't nobody really caring about none of that. We come to y'all to listen to you guys' music and see who we can relate to. Well, not me per se, because I think both their music's in for a younger crowd. I'm going to say that. I like some of the songs that I hear on the radio, but for the most part, I ain't buying neither one of the albums. So it is what it is. I don't care. But, you know, that's the thing with, with them. I think it's just petty. It's petty. It is petty. The The stuff they're arguing about is petty, and they're dragging the shit out. They're dragging it the fuck out. Like, let it go. Seriously, let that shit go. It's not that important. Life is bigger than that. You know, who cares who had what deal and who said this about whoop de whoop Y'all both living y'all best life compared to a lot of people who would trade places with y'all in a heartbeat if they could. You're living your best life. So they need to appreciate that. That's all I got to say about them because at this point, I don't even really like going on Instagram no more because that's all you see. Cardi, yeah, 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 and Nikki with her radio station, whatever, the shits, you know, whatever, and then you have all these other, like, business companies butting in now saying, oh, well, no, we never gave you a deal, we never, all just, they all petty, all petty, all petty, and, you know, I don't even know if it's just the up their ratings, up their views, up their likes, up their something, you know, because, they they getting paid, you know what I'm saying? Even the bickering is making you click in more, so they making more money even from being mad at each other. Fuck, what fucking more do you guys want? The fuck? Shit. And then, this morning, I was watching the whole thing on uh, Unwind with Tasha K. I think that's her name on YouTube. I don't know. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't have any clips, but I'm just giving my um, reaction to the whole thing. I think I've I've always been a um, Jagged Edge fan. I've always been a Jagged Edge fan. I love their music. Like, I love their music. And, you know, I think with most celebrities, most musicians, artists, you tend to look at them in a different light than reality and it's sad to know that uh one of the twins case the brandon casey um has this 23 year old daughter that he just totally neglects for like 23 years he off and on totally neglects uh from what was said on the 
interview that he like downgrade downrates her and talks to her really disrespectful for that to be his daughter. I mean, he might have feel some kind of way because of who he has his child with and that that happens with a lot of people, you know, but that's your child, dude. I don't care what the situation is. That's your child. So your relationship, you should cherish family. First and foremost, you should cherish your family because tomorrow ain't promised and we don't have, you know, you can't do over. There's no such thing as a do over. You know, you just go on with life, but you don't make regrets. Like, you don't create regrets. You know, and for him to be this big celebrity, he could have did better. Now, there, I know there's two sides to each story, but, you know, it was just sad watching his daughter. I forgot her name, but you guys can go look at it on Unwind with Tasha K. Um, it's just sad how emotional she was and the things she said he would say to her and how he wasn't in her life and he barely, like, supported her financially like the mom was kind of grateful seeing like for the money that she did get but and she wasn't really down you know down in him or putting him out there like that but you know, just from what she's told it's just it's bad all the way through like it makes you look at celebrities and stuff once you know that the inside of the story and not just what you see on the outside it makes um you look at celebrities in a different light, and that that was just sad all the way around. Like to hear how he treats her compared to his other two kids, and to see to hear the the comments he would say to her, like uh, "You can't be in the what was it?" I, I'm I'm just paraphrasing or whatever, but basically it's like you need to lose weight in order to be in the spotlight. Because she wanted to, like, go after her music career, and he was like, okay, but you need to lose weight or some bullshit like that. And it just makes me feel bad, you know, that, for one, it kicks me out of the, the illusion that, because you know how you, 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 gen, you look at a person, how they sing their songs, how they do their music, that's how you picture that person is in real life and 95% of the time it is not true that is not how they are in real life and so you know just hearing it and I know there's three sides to every story you know but just hearing that is what kind of person he is you know in real life it kind of makes you go mm -hmm. Mm, because I really did not know he had a 23-year-old. I think I was watching, like, Unsung, um, and they were doing a backstory on uh, on Jacket Edge, why they broke up, how they got together, and all this. Something happened with one of the members in the group. He kind of, like, uh, domestic violence towards his girl. And I, I think it was Brandon who said, like, I have a daughter. I have a daughter, uh... I would never do anything like that or something like that. And I believe it was Brandon. And, like, you said, I have a daughter. You didn't say I have daughters. But I'm not sure if this was before his 11-year-old was born. They did that or what the case was. But he said daughter, not daughter. So I don't know if he's talking about his oldest daughter or talking about the other one. But he didn't say two. I'm not sure when that aired, so... It couldn't have been that long ago, but, you know, it's just, we have this image of what these stars are, and they are far from it, far from it. It would be nice if, for him to have his own interview to tell his side of the story, just so we can get an overall view, you know, because this came out, but it's just sad that, you know, she, as his daughter, was basically he didn't show her love like that, you know. I don't, I don't want to, I don't know too much of the relationship. I just know what I watched on the interview, and 
it's sad. It's sad because, you know, you have enough men out here who are broke and stuff, not taking care of their kids, you know. But then you have rich people who can adequately provide for your child and, and you just ignore them because of whatever reasons. It's just sad, you know. And, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to get on here and talk about all the drama and all the mess. These celebrities are losing their fucking minds. It's so petty. At the end of the day, all of it is so freaking petty. It's so freaking petty. Like, what are you guys doing? You know, you're not, you're not at the bottom. You're not bottom feeders. You guys at the top, you up here, you know, we want to be up here, but y'all up here and y'all, y'all, yeah, shit, what the fuck for? It's not even worth it, but yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here and talk about, so I'll talk to you guys later. All right, peace.